Hello everybody, Momo from the Momo Zone. Hope you're having a great day. And today's video is called Reaching Financial Independence Doing What You Love. I got a letter from a longtime viewer who's been watching me from the very beginning, a guy called Elad that lives out in Israel. And he is a talented digital artist. He likes to take pictures. He likes to shoot video. He loves music and he loves combining it all together. He dreams of being able to do his own thing, doing what he loves, how to become financially secure, doing your thing. And that decided to go follow his dreams by going to one of the biggest editing places out in the world right now, the hotspot, which is New York. And that goes down to New York discovers that life is not as easy as it seems once you leave your hometown to try and go and make it back up in the Bay Apple. The competition is ferocious and he lacks the one thing that he really misses that he had at home, which was true human connection. A lad now goes back home and tries to make it on his own turf. His question is, how do I get my financial independence doing what I love? Momo, please help me. The journey begins going to where the action is oh man that is the first thing that everybody wants to do right the second they have a dream whether you want to be a model damn i gotta go down to miami you want to be a musician shit i need to go down to la i want to be a video editor i'm going down to new york there's one very important thing that one's got to remember about going to where the action is and that is there is a shit load of action going down where the action is the competition is not only ferocious but is controlled by only a few. Everybody's got their turf. Whoever's at the top controls the limited amount of true gigs that are available out there. And everybody goes to the same dudes because they're the best. So what does that tell you? If you don't have a connection and your personal chops for what it is that you're trying to do are not right up there, then I tell you, you're better off staying at home getting your shit together and then going out there and trying to play with the big boys. Experience is still experience and pushing yourself to the edge of your own capabilities is a whole other thing. You must also be willing to start at the bottom. When I mean at the bottom, in the kind of industry in the video business or the audio business, like I said, only controlled by a few. Well, if you're gonna get in there at the top line, you're gonna definitely be someone's coffee boy to start with. You gotta be prepared for egos. You gotta be prepared for late hours. I'm talking about anything goes, anytime, 48 hours going on, not going to sleep and delivering the goods at the same time. That is the true facts about what really goes on in the general industry. I believe that the industry is changing and that your dreams can be compiled in a whole other way. Everything these days is shrunk down to what I would call the small power team. Few people that you can trust, people that are willing to multitask, people that are willing to say, I can specialize in five or six different programs and make it all happen right here by tomorrow night. One of the ways to alleviate some of this pain is to really specialize in what you love. You must be really good at what you do, at least up to the competition level of other people who are in that field, but you need to find your own edge. You need to find that extra little thing that makes you stand out and what you need to do is become that go-to person. That person that people knows encompasses everything from quality to respecting time, to having fresh ideas, to being able to just grab something out of a hat and just turn it into something creative on the spot. You must become the best of yourself. And once you do that, tell yourself this one thing. Nobody can fuck with that. Let's now talk about the knowledge economy. What is the knowledge economy? The knowledge economy is what everybody is going to be jumping on and is already jumping on right now. The more knowledge you have, the more you baked your head with all the information that you wanted to learn by yourself or taking the courses or making the decision to learn something and really take it to that level, that makes you a special person. Why is that? Because today, knowledge is almost non-existent in the application of how people use it at work. Very limited people are capable of going out there and just pulling a rabbit out of a hat. But I believe that you all can do that. We all have that special passion and that special thing that we want to do and express when it comes to art. I mean, just imagine, today you can just take a great camera, which is this big, shoot an amazing video, write an amazing soundtrack, 
connect it all together and create a piece of media that can be seen by millions. Whereas in the past, this would have costed millions to actually pull off. The creativity is in your hands. Invest in your dreams. Okay, now what does that mean? Now look, I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money, but I will tell you how I did things in my life to make my dream come true in a very short period of time. You can run out and you can party with your friends and you can go drinking every day and you can go out and spend money on what I consider to be completely useless things. But I believe that for all you multimedia guys out there, business oriented people who want to have their own creative thing, you need to have the tools, everything you need to express yourself fully independently. But investing in yourself is a very interesting uh, paradox, actually. You see, here's how I look at it. You wait to live your dream. And you wait to say, oh, one day I'm going to be a big video editor or I'm going to make myself a great movie. But how long will that take? Why do most people wait for someone else to discover them? Why does that happen instead of us going out there and doing it ourselves and presenting that thing that you don't need a whole bunch of other people to do for you? I believe that that's an old way of thinking. For example, let's say you like to draw or let's say you like to make videos. Well, I will tell you, you can stop everything you're doing and every night after work, or every weekend, you can spend 20 hours at a time creating your content. Like a freak, you sit there and you plow your head full of knowledge and physical experience. Practice makes perfect. The more you work on something, the better you become. The more you look at what other people are doing of the stuff that interests you, the more you will find yourself. It's not about copying people, but it's about getting inspired and saying, yeah, I can feel something here. I can actually, this thing is speaking to me. Well, that's all it takes. One key, one trigger, one thing to understand that you can just build your content. Why is that investing in yourself? How can you have your own business if somebody types your name into the internet and wants to see what you have done and there's only two or three things and it's very limited. Oh, limited? Are you specialized? But you're not the top of your specialty yet. Why? Because you did not spend 20 hours a day every weekend doing what you got to do. You know how many students go to school to learn a craft and they wait till they come out of school to practice that craft. The second I start learning about a craft, I put it into application right away. The same day, I learned how to do it physically. You guys can do that too. As far as I'm concerned, there is no other way in 2012 and climbing to get your dreams to come through on an independent level when the economy is completely fucked out there. That's why the knowledge economy is going to be one of the most important things in the world. Finding good people you can count on that are passionate and deliver the goods. You have to be able to say that you will lock yourself up in a room by yourself or with your crew and work like serious people, like real pros. Go watch some documentaries and see how they do behind the scenes. You will see these people are serious. There's jokers and there's serious people, but you can be the go-to person of your choice. Just pick it, build it, create the content, and people who look at that content will know who you are. The last point I wanna cover is dealing with people who are over perfectionist on what it is they're working on. A lad, you told me that that is part of what you consider to be one of your problems. I completely understand that, and I will tell you that I am the opposite of that due to the fact that at one point I was too much of a perfectionist. Now, what does that mean to all you perfectionists out there? I'm a strong believer of quality over quantity. So, you know, you're better off doing less, having less clients that pay you more, having less work, but better work, more original work. Other people want to keep you cheap and they want to move fast and you do your thing, but you can't really develop a style when you do that. I'm gonna give you freaks out there who are really into beating yourself up and never getting anything started, although it's all living in your head and it seems so clear. And that is this little exercise. For just one weekend, lock yourself up and let's try going quantity and keeping quality second. I'm talking about baffing out a ridiculous amount of stuff as if you were on some kind of contest that said that you had to do 30 things in the end of 24 hours. <laughs> you like that, right? Well, I gotta tell you that my entire life works that way. I really, really enjoy living on the edge and finding the magic. So, you know, it's interesting. Elad told me in his letter that 
one time a friend of his got together with him and said, let's go out there and do like a guerrilla style shoot. We're going to grab a bunch of people and we got all these actors and we're going to make it happen. He said, well, I need to be prepared. What about the script? And da, 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 da. His friend said, no, we can make this happen. So a lad, you go out there, you do your thing and you felt that you were completely lost, losing control, and you think it was one of your worst experiences and something that you never want to do again. I can respect that. When you have that wall of needing to know everything, what you do is you look around, you see what you got, like potluck, and you make it happen. Ah, but how do you make it good and how do you make everybody communicate? You know that work I was telling you about before? when you work the 20 hours on the weekend and you really push yourself and you discover and you learn all kinds of amazing tips, tricks and how to see things and how to do things. Well, sometimes in the beginning it involves just you and your craft. And after that, you bring in other people and then you start to learn to work with the people and then people become like instruments. It's like if you were to pick up a guitar, you've never played and oh, you can play it. It might not be your favorite guitar, but you can definitely play the thing or it may be the best guitar you've ever played. You got to realize that when it comes to visuals, we're naturally bred to have the emotions and the visuals and everything that we've already seen on TV. If you want to do video and you like to do photography, you've obviously been influenced by other things and other people that you have seen, and they have set the professional ground rule for you already. So you have to aspire to be at least as good as that, at least as professional as that, and just get it done. Guess what happens? when you stop being a procrastinator and you just kick your ass into gear. Well, you know the way they say sometimes less is best? Somebody who's got everything really complicated in their head and they got to think too much, then I can tell you that their idea is definitely not simple. They've maybe overproduced the thing in the head. It needs too many people, uh, too many objects, too much writing, too much thinking. I suggest going back to the basic root of things, doing really simple things with one object or one character and finding how to get that maximum of the meaning out of that thing, right? And really make that thing live, breathe and talk and emotion it with the right music and sound effects and, you know, maybe one person and learn how to direct a person so well that they are your tool of expression and you can bring them in and out of the camera in any way you choose. But this is your chance to guinea pig, to work, to test, and to triumph with your ideas. Understand what works, what doesn't work, what's easy, what's not easier, and how to make something complicated easier. These are the tips and tricks that you will learn by yourself, by letting yourself be inspired, and not being afraid and thinking that you're incapable of making stuff happen. Hell, it's like joining a game show. I'm telling you guys, you need to do this it will be the best thing you've ever tried. I will leave you with this. 100% of nothing equals nothing. Action plus reaction equals 100% result every fucking time. You gotta love that. It's that simple. A lot. I hope this video helps. I hope it gave you guys out there some juice about going out there and not being afraid of your ideas and finding a way to shrink down your reality and actually make something happen. Understand that at the end of every year, you guys can be on a completely new level. This will affect everything in your entire life. Your personal relationship, your love life, your dreams, how much money you make, how happy you are, and how you feel that you are moving up the ladder of your dreams. So on that note, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and writing. And um, like I like to say, you guys totally fucking rock.